Hello, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to set up a product on your Squarespace website with best SEO practices. So if you are selling any kind of product on your Squarespace website, whether it is a physical product or a digital product, whether you are selling a certain number in a drop or a launch, or if you just have these products available for people to purchase at any time, then this is gonna be for you because if you wanna have a product, then obviously you want to sell the product. But remember, SEO will play such a big role in that because if you have better SEO, then more people will find your product, which means you'll make more sales and make more money, which is probably what you want if you're here. So that is what we are going to be looking at today. And how this video is gonna work is I'm actually going to turn this around in a second. I'm going to show you my screen and you can follow along with me. So if you have your Squarespace website open, maybe in a different browser or on another screen or something, then follow along with me as I'm showing you how to set up a product on your Squarespace website, all the things to consider for SEO, all that sort of thing. So if that sounds like something that you want to learn about, then you are in the right place and let's get started. Um, I'm going to share my screen here and I realize just a quick word. Yes, I know the lighting is terrible in this video, but we're just going to roll with it. We will not let the bad lighting stop us. It's December in the Pacific Northwest where I am. It'd be like that. Okay. What we're going to begin with is the, where I want to start is to remind you that I have a Squarespace SEO checklist available for download. And this has been downloaded by thousands and thousands and thousands of people. So if you grab a copy, you are an excellent company. And whether you are just getting started out with Squarespace SEO, or maybe you've been tinkering around a little bit, but you want to make sure that you're doing everything properly, you haven't forgotten anything, then this Squarespace SEO checklist is going to help you. You can work your way through it top to bottom, you know, dabble a little bit at once, whatever it is. But yeah, this Squarespace SEO checklist is going to be a fantastic resource for you. So grab a copy of it if you haven't already. But enough about that. Now let's talk about products on your Squarespace website and how we can set them up for best SEO. So here we go. I'm going to be showing you on my own website and let's pretend the back end of my website. Let's pretend that we are selling <laughs> vitamin C face oil. Sure. Why not? Okay. So I filled out a few of the basic things. You can see it like this would be like what the live version of that page looks like, but I just want you to see kind of like as we're going through different things, okay? So let's go through this top to bottom. And again, I want you to follow along. If you have a product, just open yours up and you know, kind of go as it is. So first off, the first field that you're gonna fill out is the product name. That should be pretty straightforward, right? Your name should be a really clear descriptor of what the product, the item, whatever it is, right? And, you know, really think about like, how can someone be super clear what the title is? Right. And so that's going to go like right up at the top. And then, oopsies, then we have the description field. Okay. And this is something where I think people get a little bit mixed up is that they put all the information in just the description field. And, but let me show you here, the description field just kind of is going to go here in this little section on the right, usually is how it's going to be like set up. And so the thing with that is that there's really limited, I'm going to just exit that, is there's quite limited um, space in the description field. So one of the things I really recommend you do instead is click on this additional info field. And once you click on there, you're going to see that this opens up another section where you can add content to describe your product, but it's more like the normal Squarespace editor. You see, you can have so much more control over how you're styling, formatting, whatever, all the content that you're putting in the description of the product field here. So I've made a little note there. So again, you can see that there's some bit of the description, but then in this case, anything from kind of like this, you know, where you might have a video, this block and down, this is all using that additional info field. So this is something I'd really recommend that you do is again, put some of the info in the description perhaps, but then mostly add the information in the additional info field, okay? Again, because you have much more control over the styling, the design, the formatting, all that sort of thing. Now we're gonna get down here to the images, okay? And when it comes to adding an image to your website, I really want you to think about 
optimizing the image for SEO, okay? And so there's two ways that we can do that. The first thing is you wanna think about what is the physical file name of the image when you're about to upload it to the Squarespace website? Because remember, when Google sees that you have these images here, they're not just looking and being like, wow, there's an image. Google is also looking at that image and trying to read the image file name and the alt text to learn what the image is about, right? Like, so this is your chance to really add some SEO goodness in it. So if I was you and I'm like adding an image up here, then one of the things I really want you to think about is like, in this case here, just this image, what are we naming the physical file name? So here you can see that this is just a random image I downloaded from Unsplash. And right now this is the physical file name here. And right now that doesn't give us anything for Google, right? Like that's not helpful. So what we're gonna do instead is again, come here to the physical file name on of the image, like on our computer, and we're gonna rename it. So let's call it something like, I don't know, Charlotte Skincare. Um, you know, vitamin C, face oil, and then like bottle of face oil with rose quartz gua sha. I don't know, whatever, right? So now if you look at it, again, here you can see that it's been renamed. You can see so much more about what we have. So we have like, you know, my fake brand name, right? Charlotte Skincare. <laughs> Then we have, what is the product name? The vitamin C face oil, right? And then what we're doing is the third part of the image name is we're kind of explaining to Google, what do they see here, right? So you could even add like, you know, flat lay of bottle or blah, 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 whatever, okay? And now that we have that image that's properly named, now this is what we're going to upload here. So in this case, I could like drag it and drop it there. And now you'll see that it's uploaded. Okay, so that's fantastic. Um, and now let me just save this here and then I'll refresh on this part. And now you can see one second, one second here. Oh, come on, don't go slow. Good, good, good. Okay, so there's my image. And if I like, let's say open it in new tab or something, right? And then hover over, you can see, oh yeah, 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 cool, good. There's some of it like Charlotte skincare, vitamin C, gua sha, blah, 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 great. So now in this case, the image is much more optimized for um, Squarespace SEO, okay? And another thing that you wanna think about when you're uploading the image as well is looking at the image file size. So in this case, again, it's a pretty small file. It's only like 103, but if you were up to like, two megabytes or something, then you definitely would want to compress the image before uploading it. Because again, if you have a large image file size, that's gonna slow down the page load speed, which can be bad for SEO. So one of the things you can do is use a tool like Tiny PNG. Let me get this up here. And Tiny PNG is a really good tool. I use it all the time actually. And what you do is just basically like upload your image here and then it'll compress the image. So it's just as simple as literally like dragging and dropping, and then it's gonna compress the image. Um, you can see here, and now there it is, it's smaller, right? So I could then use that to re-upload. Okay? But anyways, let's move on now. Let's go back to this. So now we've talked about images, both with the file name and the file size. Um, another thing that we might look at here is if you click on the edit the image, like let's use this one that we have updated already. Um, there's also this edit metadata. So you can click over here and now this is where you can add alt text to it. So again, you could say something like, you know, um, Charlotte skincare, vitamin C face oil or something, right? So again, explain to Google once more what the image is. Okay? There we go. So that's something you're going to want to do. And again, whether it means uploading new images or if you have existing images, I really encourage you to fix the file name, check the file size, and then also fill out the alt text or the metadata on the image. But let's keep going. Let's move on down here. Okay. Um, the next things, again, you can, if you wanted to, you can set one as the thumbnail image, or if you were like in this case too, oh, you didn't like that they were all in a line. Maybe you just want one image. Then you want to put the others instead of in these images section, maybe you only wanted one as the feature image and then you wanted the other three in like an image block, that's totally cool, you can do that. Okay. 
Then going down further, we've got like the inventory and the price. Again, this is pretty straightforward how you set all of that stuff, the fulfillment, um, if you want it public or private. Um, a good thing that you might want to do here is add in categories if those are relevant and also tags. And so categories is much more of a broad, like what is the product type or category, right? So it could be skincare, it could be clothing, it could be shoes, it could be like home goods, whatever, right? Those are like broad categories. Whereas tags, you can have much more, many more tags associated with one particular product. Whereas you might just have like one or two categories, it probably has more tags. So again, in this case, I filled out like face oil, serum, vitamin C, natural skincare. You could use, I don't know, like vegan or like something, right? So really think about all the tags that go, because again, Google might crawl an index and see some of those keywords associated with it, associated with the image and they can be really helpful. Okay, further down, we've got like the selling tools. So again, you can play around with that on your own. That's not so much SEO related, but then down here under the marketing tab, I want you to make sure that you're clicking under like marketing the SEO and URL and click on this edit. Because here, this is where you're going to really tell Google what the image is about. So again, make sure that the URL is really nice and clean with just like the product name or something. The SEO title is very, again, crisp and clear. You're telling Google exactly what it is. And you can kind of see here in this section, like this bit that I'm highlighting, vitamin C, face oil, natural skincare. That is filling from here, what we're writing in the SEO title. Okay. And then the SEO description field, which is down below. Again, this is use my kind of blurb. This is where you describe the product, like physical, digital, you know, include the keywords, tell people about what it is, who it's for, any benefits, like really what is someone typing into Google that you want them to then find this product, right? So again, I think you have about 400 characters, really use natural language when you're writing this out, tell Google, you know, you can almost have like a bit of a template that you use for different types of products. So let's say in this case, you're like, oh, I have a vitamin C serum. Then you have a face moisturizer and then a body wash or something. You can kind of like have a similar framework and then just edit it a little bit for each one of the different products. You don't have to rewrite it completely from scratch each time, but you do want to think about like, you know, really telling Google what the particular product is about. So those are three things I want you to fill out there. And then when you're done, click apply. Um, and then, yep, we get down to the bottom with the checkout stuff. All that is straightforward. And so those are the main things. Let's review some of the features that you might be putting to actually describe the image as well, or sorry, the product as well. So oftentimes in the additional info field, people will put maybe like a product video or something that can be really common, whether you're showcasing a physical product, a digital product, whatever, having a video to really like show people what they're getting can be very helpful and is good for SEO too. Google loves, Google loves a video. <laughs> and then here are some kind of prompts that you might see, or like, you know, what are some things that you might want to put to, again, get someone closer to making a purchasing decision and also make this page more valuable to Google. So again, like about the product, what are some features, some benefits? Like why would someone purchase this product over another one? Maybe the ingredients or like the materials used or any spe special things about like how it's made, how to use the product could be really helpful. So again, like, you know, is there anything someone needs to, to know about using the product? Who is it for? So again, this can be really helpful so that the person knows that they're like exactly in the right spot. Um, maybe your brand guarantee, the refund policy, shipping, you could add some general FAQs, anything like that. And then you'll see that once you have all of those different things, again, if I show you this kind of like full-blown version, you end up with a product page that's like quite long, right? You know, like this is quite lengthy. It's giving someone a lot of information about the product, what they need to know about like, you know, making a purchasing decision, whatever it happens to be. So, um, you know, you might find again, using kind of like a template, you use this similar format and then just switch it for different products to customize it. That's fine. No problem there. But doing this will mean that you have a much, much, much stronger, um, yeah, just like a much stronger, what do you call it? Like product description in general. 
So my friends, that is how you fill out a product page on your Squarespace website, and more importantly, how you optimize it for SEO. I hope this was helpful for you. We've talked about a lot here, whether it's about the images, the SEO description, the you know, the content about explaining what the product is, anything like that, that both the potential client or customer needs to know, but also Google needs in order to find this valuable and we'll return it in a search result. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, yeah, take a look at, you know, your own product page, really see if you can implement any of the things that we talked about in this video here, go through it nice and slow, like pause, you know, whatever it happens to be. And before you leave, don't forget to grab a copy of that free Squarespace SEO checklist and take that out for a spin. And if you liked the video, please like or leave me a comment to let me know down below that you enjoyed it. And you can take a look at the other videos that I have here on my YouTube channel. I talk all about like Squarespace SEO, obviously, <laughs> um, web design and development, online marketing, things like that. So this is it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon in the next video. Bye.